And smelling sickness? The doctor is in with a potential breakthrough on how certain illnesses can be detected by scent. Hi. Groundbreaking new research on detecting sickness. A new study suggests we can smell illness in someone whose immune system is highly active. Researchers say the change in odor is detectable within just hours of infection. Dr. Devi is an assistant professor of anesthesiology and rehab at NYU School of Medicine. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. Uh, so in this study, it's kind of a strange one. Uh, sweaty t-shirts were given to people to smell. Half of those shirts came from healthy people, the other half from people who had been injected with toxins that ramped up their immune system. And the people who smelled the shirts were able to easily identify which shirts came from healthy subjects and which ones from people fighting toxins, which suggests that people can smell a ramped up immune system. But what practical implications does that have? Well, it has a couple. So for example, if you can smell that someone is sick around you, I mean, you might be able to protect yourself if there's an infectious disease. Mm -hmm. We see this sometimes with pregnant people, for example. They have a heightened sense of smell, and there's some evidence that that might help them protect themselves and the fetus from illnesses mm -hmm. or toxic substances. So they might not even realize, uh, their instincts are telling them this person I'm talking to is unhealthy. They might not even realize, perhaps, that it's a smell. There's just something, uh, a feeling that they get that they should probably avoid this person. Y well, yes, I mean, we don't want to make that person completely isolated. Right. If we can harness this further, I mean, the person who has that strange odor mm -hmm. might be able to get treatment as well or see the doctor where other tools can be used, you know. Yeah. Um, so that can be really helpful. I mean, we've seen this a little bit with dogs, some trained dogs and other studies have been able to sense if someone has cancer, whether it's lung cancer or breast cancer. So these technologies can be de developed a little bit more so people can get better access to treatment. Right. Um, yeah, with the animals, you don't have this, the etiquette involved though. Like uh, with humans, uh, is it that they can maybe uh, detect that their own scent has changed? Or they are they supposed to, to notice that their friend has a sort of funky odor and actually say to your friend, you might be sick, which well, could get a little awkward. Yeah, it could be awkward, of course. I mean, I think it's a little bit of both. So in the past, even with diabetes, this is how the diagnosis was made before we developed all these new tests. Right. So what would happen was actually people had this funny smell, like a sweet odor or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And people would even do urine drug tests. Uh, Sorry, not drug tests, taste right. tests. <laughs> but they stopped yes. doing that now. Yeah. Uh, but that's the way doctors used to diagnose diabetes in the past. So right. actually it was based on smell and taste. Yeah, and in this study, they were uh, smelling sweat, but apparently breath is another big indicator. For example, diabetics apparently exactly. can sometimes have a, a rotten apple smell, and that can uh, alert a doctor to maybe we should be testing for diabetes, that type of thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, there are other things, too, sometimes with wounds. If people have scratches or other inju injuries, you can tell if there's a funky smell coming from it, which might be related to bacteria or viruses. Sometimes blood that's congealing can also give off a smell. So mm -hmm. there are different ways that we can sense that someone's sick. I mean, most people probably, if they've ever had the flu or a really bad viral illness, can probably tell that they smell a little funny. These are things that maybe we've seen and observed, but right. we haven't really thought about. So what's great about this study is that they're looking at these things that we may have done before. They've formalized it, and they're trying to figure out now probably how to use this so we can detect illness sooner and maybe diagnose people with certain conditions that uh, they might not have gotten diagnosed with before until they had reached later stages. Yeah, and get them uh, treated uh, sooner. Uh, but, you know, you have to be uh, tuned in to scent. In this study, they were told to focus on the smell of a T-shirt. Uh, when we're walking around, we're not necessarily That's uh, true. have that kind of heightened sensitivity, but maybe we should. Oh, that's true. All right, Dr. Debbie, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.